In this video, we're going to create a wildcard filter search in Excel VBA that includes a drop down selection menu for the type of wildcard search we want to perform. So, just to show you a preview of what we're going to create today, I have a data set to the left here of accounts payable records. And in the second column, we have all of the different vendor names for each record. Over here to the right, I have a drop down selection menu with the type of wildcard search I want to perform. So I have begins with, ends with, and contains. So if I select begins with, and then in the search box here, type in ALP, and then run this search, you can see it pulls back all of the vendors that begin with those letters. I can change this to ends with, and search for any vendor that ends in LLC and it updates and finds all of those records. So the first thing we want to do is add our drop down selection menu. So I'm going to click in the cell where I want it. I'm going to come up to the data ribbon, select data validation. I'm going to select data validation from this drop down menu. Under this drop down list I'm gonna select list I'm gonna come down to the source box and type our values that we want separated by commas so we have begins with comma ends with and contains click OK and we have our drop down selection menu so now what we want to do is get into the VBA editor window. You can do that by hitting Alt F11 on your keyboard or going to the developer ribbon and clicking on this visual basic button. So in this project window, I'm going to right click, go to insert and select module. So to save time, I've already created the code. So I'm just going to drop it in here and quickly run through it. So we begin by declaring our variables. So we have one for workbook, the one we're in now. We have one for our worksheet that we're on. We have a variable for our drop-down list containing our search types. We have our cell containing our search value. We have a variable for our data range to the left that we want to perform the filter on. And then we have one called P range, which represents previous range, which is going to represent the results area range because we're going to clear that out before we perform the next filter. So all of our variables are object variables. They're either a workbook, worksheet, or ranges. So they need to begin with the keyword set. So our workbook variable is going to be equal to this workbook, the one we're in now. And then our worksheet variable is going to be equal to the workbook variable we just created and then worksheets and the sheet we're on now, sheet one. So we have our drop down list variable, which is the cell containing our drop down list. So that is cell G2. So that is our worksheet range G2. We then have our search value variable which is our worksheet range H2 cell containing our search value we have our data range that we want to perform the filter on so that is equal to worksheet and then cell A1 and then current region that's like clicking in cell A1 and hitting control A that simply selects that entire range So we have our previous range variable and that is going to be equal to our worksheet range G6 and then current region because G6 is where we're going to write our results to. So when we do actually perform a filter and write the data here, when we perform our next filter, we want to be able to clear out this range. So that is why we have a variable for that. And you can see in this next line, we do just that. We have a reference to our prior range, clear contents. So 
now we get to our select statement and this is where we're going to perform filters based on the value that is selected in our drop down list so we have select case the thing we want to evaluate is what is in our drop down list that contains the type of filter search we want to perform so our first scenario is case begins with so if our drop down list equals begins with then we want to reference our data range to the left perform an auto filter on field two which is our second column containing our vendor names and the criteria for that filter is going to be our search value variable and then an and symbol to join it to a star which is a wild card so that is essentially saying that we want our search value and then any and everything can come after that so it essentially creates a begins with filter search and then the operator we want on that data range is Excel filter values so then we have our next case scenario if the drop down list equals ends with then we want to reference our data range variable auto filter again field two this time our criteria is going to be a star joined with an and symbol to our search value on the front of it so we're saying anything can come before our search value essentially creating an ends with wildcard search finally we have a case statement for if our drop down list equals contains then we want to perform the same filter on our second column but this time we want a star joined on both ends of our search value variable so that essentially pulls back anything that contains our search value anywhere in that field so then we end our select statement and the next thing we do is reference our filtered data range to the left because at this point it will be filtered we want to copy that filtered range and the destination is going to be on our worksheet variable range g6 because that's where we're going to write our results to and once that has taken place we're going to reference our worksheet variable auto filter and show all of the data so that will clear the filter data to the left and we end our subroutine so now we have everything we need with our subroutine so what we can do is back on our sheet go up to the developer ribbon go to insert select that first option for a macro button to draw it on here draw it on here and then link it to our my filter subroutine click OK I'm gonna right click go to edit text and we'll just rename this search and I'm gonna select ends with we'll find everything that ends in LLC click search and there is our results with everything ending in LLC I can change this to something that contains we'll find everything that contains the and symbol in the vendor name so I click search and that produces all the vendors that contain the and symbol well that is all for now see you in the next one